While Game of Thrones breaks records every single day, they've just added a whole heap of new accolades to their belt including a huge triumph for Peter Dinklage. Dinklage, who stars as Tyrion Lannister in the fantasy epic, has only just gone and broken a huge Emmy record after landing his seventh nomination for Best Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. The 49-year-old has been nominated for every single of Game of Thrones so far and has thus set the precedent for the most nominations for Best Supporting Actor of all time. As it stands, HES won the trophy twice, bagging the gong in 2011 and then bringing it home once again to Westeros in 2015. Breaking Bad star Aaron Paul currently boasts the record for the actor with the most wins in the category under his belt, with Dinklage needing to take the prize both this year and once again for his performance in the highly anticipated eight to topple him. Game of Thrones received a staggering 22 Emmy Award nods yesterday, making it the most nominated series of all time. The enormous triumph comes just days after filming the HBO epic officially wrapped up. Speaking on BBC Radio 2 yesterday, Kit Harrington opened up about his emotional goodbye. It's just been this amazing journey, he said. I kinda said to them on my rap speech that it's always been more than a job. They were a family and it was my life. I've loved every minute of it. I've been quite emotional all last week thinking about having finished it. Harrington's co-star Sophie Turner was equally as saddened to leave the show behind, comparing saying farewell to her character Sansa Stark as a death in the family. Game of Thrones returns to HBO in April 2018. More, Game of Thrones 8, all the wild fan theories which could still happen more, Game of Thrones prequel filming to kick off in Belfast later this year.